Football Manager 2022 Toronto FC Player A and shout out Lit Talk Network. So, um, yeah, obviously, man's not really expecting anything from this MLS thing, but we'll, we'll find out anyway. So, yeah, um, nickname The Reds, owner status of the club, continental competition, Canadian Championship, history. Um, they've won the league once in a couple of years, however long they've been in this league, bruv. And yeah, that's not too bad, actually. So yeah, um, let's get into this. All right, for the score, we're going from Quintin Westberg all the way to Jordan Peruza. So yeah, let's see what they're saying. All right, first player that we've got is Quintin Westberg. Um, 13 reflexes, 13 agility, 12 one-on-ones. He's 35. He's their first choice. And that is, it's just, it's nothing special, is it, is it? Yeah, I don't think it is anything special. It's just bang average at best, bruv. Cool, man, like Quintin Westberg. All right, next one we've got is Greg Rangist Singh, bruv. You get me? Cool. Um, He's from this country called Trin Bagonia, bruv. Never heard of them. Or or maybe that is Trinidad. I have no clue, bruv. Not like, anyway, 14 reflexes, 14 agility, and 10 one-on-ones. This guy is the reason why you would have to play a deep line, because... On one-on-one -on -one situations, he gets packed consecutively. It's not fun, bruv. Um, anyway, four composure eliminates all odds of him playing as a sweeper-keeper. He will always be a goalkeeper defend. And that is man like Greg, whatever his name is, bruv. So. All right, next one that we've got is man like Alex Bono. Um, um, 15 reflexes, 14 agility, 13 one-on-ones. 14 kicking, 11 passing, 11 composure. Yeah, he's he's starting, obviously. Um, He's, he's the youngest one as well. As well as, as, oh, my God. He's the youngest one as well, I think. So, um, obviously, he's going to be the starter. Um, and, yeah, that's that's all I can really say, in it? Because all he can do is win the ball, but there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're paid to do, in it? You get me? Man like um Alex Bono, safe. Bro. Uh, next week, they've got his man like Luca Gavran. Um, yeah, he's, he's having fun. Obviously, not doing his job, but he's having fun, though. At least that's what matters, right? Shout out Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, bro. You get me? All right, first player that we've got that's outfield is man like Luke Singh. Um, yeah, what what introduction to the outfield players, bruv. He's strong, um, he's kind of fast. No agility, he's going to get spun by any attacker with pace, bruv. And he can't even position himself correctly. I get that he's 20, I understand that, but still. Um, his peak still can't lie. Man like Luke Singh. All right, next player that we've got is man like Lucas McNaughton. Um, 26, bruv. 13 tackling for a centre-back. He can kind of play striker as well. Probably for the um, last minute headers, bruv. Even though 13 jump reach and 14 heading for someone that's six foot two is nothing really special, but it's decent. And yeah, he's just bog standard, no nonsense, because you can't really put him central defender because he's got fifth, five technique, bruv, 10 vision and 12 passing. So yeah, simple, no nonsense defender. All right, next we've got a 27 year old Carlos Salcedo, um, centre back, 16 tackling, obviously no nonsense defender right there. Then again, central defender kind of makes sense because of the 10 technique, 11 vision and 12 passing, 11 composure as well. Um, but the reason why I said no nonsense is because this guy's got 18 bravery, don't fear no one but God, bruv, 14 work, create 17 determination, 18 bravery. Um, so yeah, he's just there putting his life on the line to get that ball in it. Simple as man like Carlos Salcedo. Our next outfield player that we've got is Chris Mavinga. Um, 30, man can play centre-back and he's... We met him on natural centre-back, but we met him on left-back, cool. Um, 12, 10, 8, 10 vision, 11 passing. 4A, defence first, left-back. Um, nothing really to say there. 15 pace, 15 strength, 15 acceleration. So physically, he's got it on lock and most importantly, he can win the ball. So yeah, just keep him as a... Yeah, the reason why he's a left back is because he's got 11 jump reach. He can't do nothing in there. He's getting dominated in there every single turn. So, yeah, left back, defence first, and he'll do a good job, man, like Chris Mavinga. And next, we've got this poor excuse of a footballer, man, like Shane O'Neill. Shocking footballer, bruv. Um, nine technical ability for someone that can play in the midfield. Get off this card, bruv. All right, next, we've got Malak Kamar Lawrence. I've actually heard of this guy before. Um, 15 pace, 40 initially, 15 acceleration. So, he's got the movement. Um, stamina's there. Good determination, but apart from that, as an actual footballer, because that's what we're playing, not um, 100 meter sprint. Man is definitely pants, bruv. Let's be honest in it, like yeah, man, man are sprinters, but but the footballing thing is is dead still, can't lie. All right, next one they've got is man like Michael Bradley, um, CDM or centre mid, 12, 10, 8, 15 vision and 14 passing. That pivot is um, it basically says he hasn't got ability. He can see what he's doing and he can execute a pass. Simple. Um, but but most importantly, this guy is a ball winning midfielder. Um, which I see by his stats, didn't even look, bro. But yeah, 16 tackling, 16 marking, 15 positioning. He could play in a bigger league than this. I'm surprised he's in the flipping MLS, bro. Um, yeah, he's been at decent teams before, like Mochengleback, Villa, 
Roma. Um, he's he's been about. So the fact that he chose to go to the MLS that early is very surprising. Oh wait, money? Never mind, bro. You get me? Just get your money in it, bro. Fuck it. Um, so yeah, the seventeen aggression. Like mentally, he's a different level in it. He could still play in the. I, I was about to say Premier League. If it wasn't for the composure, I would say he could play, but 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 you know what, he can play in the championship, innit? Yeah, um, he, he's he's a good footballer. It makes sense. Man, like Michael Bradley, good players. All right, next we've got this. Um, yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah, F fucking hell, bruv. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's let's just. <laughs> All right, next we've got this guy, um, promising midfielder. Is that you saying that he's gonna turn into someone good? Let's see. Eighteen. You know what, because he's 18, man will have lenience. It makes sense, bruv. 12 to eat, 12 and 12 passing for an 18-year-old. Not bad at all. Um, 11 tackling makes sense, bruv. First touch, 10. Understandable. Um, flair, not not really needed for a ball in the midfielder. Um, and then the physicality, he's he's off. And and the physicals, you know what? Man can sign this guy. Not going to lie, you can sign him in it. He's signable still. He's 18, bruv. It makes sense. Man like um, Ralph Prezo. All right, next one that we've got is man like Alejandro Pozuelo. Um... Wow, so he's a centre mid or cam. Um, he came to the MLS at the age of what age? He's been there for three years. He's been there for three years. My goodness me. Yeah, so money talks, guys, innit? Money does talk. You can't really blame them, innit? Like, bruv, anyone would do it for more money. Let's be real. Like, um, and, and let's be real, he's sourcing too. Like, the game doesn't forget your ability, innit? Like, 15, 10, 8, 14, vision, 16, passing. It's very good ability. Um, don't get that twisted. 13 first touch, 14 dribbling is amazing as well. And then the flipping 16, like, listen, he's off, bro. I can't lie. He's, 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 he can play in the big leagues, isn't it? That's what I'm trying to say. Like He's been there before. He's been in the leagues before. Like He's been in La Liga. He's been in the Premier League, bro. He knows what he's doing. But money talks. Money, money talks. And, and that's why he's no longer playing at a high level no more. But still, uh, let me not disrespect... Um, MLS, it is a shit league, but still, um, there might be some good players that he's coming up against that are doing the same thing as him. Makes sense, bruv. Um, he's doing his thing. I respect him. Man, like Alejandro Pozuelo, very signable. All right, next player they've got is man like Jonathan Osorio, um, centre mid or cam. Um, cool. So as a centre mid, twelve ten, equal vision and thirteen passing, not acceptable. Um, as a cam, decision making of twelve is okay. Twelve finishing, eleven long shots. Probably a shadow striker. Um, but yeah, let's just double check. Nope, advanced playmaker. They're lying, he's a shadow striker anyway. He's 29, oh my days, he's 29. I'm never going to play this guy, ever. But um, maybe in the centre mid, actually. It makes it makes no sense, but just just depending on the amount of ability that we have will depend in, will, will determine if this guy plays or not. Man like Jonathan Osorio. All right, next one they've got is man like DeAndre Kerr. He's, he's 18, 15 technical ability. Um, very good to see. The, the pace, 13, acceleration, 13, finishing 11 could turn into a footballer because currently it's peak bro I can't like alright next bit they've got is man like Ayo Akinola um, 16 pace 15 acceleration right wing and striker definitely one of those guys just long ball it to him he'll win it but when he wins the ball it's bouncing away from him because of that 10 first touch when he tries to get that first touch and dribble it's bouncing away from him because of the 10 first touch and the 10 dribbling and when he's when it's time to shoot, he might score. He's got fine finishing. He's probably a good score, goal scorer. No off the ball. Um, yeah, shocking. But overall, he's fast in it. So who cares? He can do his thing in this league. But I can't lie, because he's playing up against flipping guys with flipping, um, you you know them them wheelchairs because he because they can't run no more. He yeah, it's it's peak. But man, I can now well, oh, bruv. Shocking. I can't even talk, bruv. That's that's how shocking this league is. But but yeah, fuck. Alright, next one they've got is man like Jaden Nelson. Um 14 pace, 16 oh my days. 14 pace, 16 acceleration, 19 determination. He is 18, so I'll allow him, but he does need to improve and, and fast in it because the, the, the game is changing. These young players are turning into man's best best players. Look at Arsenal, bruv. So yeah. Um it ugh, I don't know, man. All I can tell him is try and work on your finishing. You can be an inside forward that cuts inside and bangs it, bruv. Simple as man like Jaden Nelson. All right, next one they've got is man like Jesus Jimenez. Um, Cam and striker. Um, decisions 13, cool. 14, 10, 8 for image and 13 passing. Makes sense, bruv. So he's a shadow striker, innit? Um, I will prefer my striker to have, um, what, 14 finishing? That's what I want from a striker. At least be able to shoot, in it. 13 is not enough for me, but 30 dribbling is cool. Um, 12 pace for acceleration, cool, no off the ball, but yeah, he has to be a shadow striker. That's how you're going to get the best out of him, man, like Jesus Jimenez, bro. All right, next one they've got is um, Ifunen, yeah, I'm not even going to complete that because that would have taken longer to say his name than it would have for me to analyse his card. Um, based on 
the, the, the reputation he is not 23 I don't care what you tell me I need to see the passport with my own eyes bruv I don't believe you in it simple as but yeah safe. and lastly we've got a 20 year old Jordan Peruza um, yeah so he's got 12 pace 12 acceleration um, okay pace cool 12 off the ball as well okay and then 13 finishing so yeah it does look like their striker is going to have 13 finishing um, yeah their striker not mine because I'm never managing this team I don't think anyone will but um, if you do good luck bruv good luck to you you get me because you've got a lot of work to do Maggi you get me but yeah um, let's let's just wrap this video up because there's nothing here to, to, to analyse bruv let's be real apart from the fact that he can take penalties literally the fact that he can stay fit for long and take penalties and work hard that's all he can do and that is Toronto FC player ratings. Um, I think I saw like one or two players that are signable in there. And that's it. That's a squad. And out of a squad, I've seen one or two players signable. So yeah, um, that tells you what I think of that that team and that league. But still, it's it's it's, it's cool, man. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I, I haven't really got anything to say because you can't even line them up. That's how bad they are overall. But still, man. Um, yeah, if you like that video, like that video, innit? Um, subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me and I'll see you in the next episode, bruv.